Number four says finding the sell price. They think without a calculator, I don't care if you use one or not, given the original price and the percent discount. You want to think about the formula when you work with percents. What you're actually doing is the percent that was paid times the regular or original price to equal the sell price. So when you're working with one that has a discount, what you want to do is use what's known as the complement of that. If I have a 30% discount, I actually ended up paying 70% of the full price, right? So an item is regularly priced at $40. Lamar bought it on sale at a discount of 30%. How much did he pay? Well, we're going to say he paid 70% of the full price or the original price. If we take 70% times 40, we get $28. So his sale price is $28. The price of an item has been reduced by 80%. If I reduced it by 80%, I only paid what percent? 20%. So I paid 20% of the original price of $90. 20% of 90 is... 18, you got a pretty good deal if you only had to pay $18 on a $90 item. Now number six, notice the wording on that one. An item on sale costs 45% of the original price. It's not a discount or a less. You'd use that 45%. The original price was $40, so what we're doing is just figuring out what is that 45% of our $40. What was it? 18 again? I don't know. I didn't multiply it out. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm getting. 18. 18 again. So be careful on there. If it's reduced, discount, less, off, all of those wordings, we have to use the complement. But if it says of the original price, then I use that percentage that they have listed in the problem.